Hello everyone! Gagamit tayo ng mathematical induction for us to prove divisibility. We have to prove that 3 raised to 2n plus 1 plus 2 raised to n plus 2 is divisible by 7. Ibig sabihin, kapag divide natin yung terms na to by 7, wala tayong makukuha na remainder. Sakto lang dapat siya. Para mapatunayan natin yun, we will be using mathematical induction and we have two steps. Ang una natin gagawin is our basis step. We have to set our foundation when it comes to our proving. Gagamitin natin yung unang term, we let n is equal to 1, tapos isasubstitute natin siya sa lahat ng n dito sa expression, tapos titignan natin kung yung sagot ay divisible nga by 7. So let us start with our first term, we have 3 raised to 2n plus 1 plus 2 raised to n plus 2. Kapag dinivide natin siya by 7, dapat ang sagot natin is an integer. Kaya this is equal to substituting 1 sa lahat ng n. This will become 3 raised to. Yung 2n plus 1 will become 2 times 1 plus 1. And then plus, we have our 2. Tapos yung exponent na n plus 2 will become 1 plus 2. Tapos, i-divide pa rin natin siya by 7. So, this is equal to, yung exponent natin na 3, raised to 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. That is equal to 3. So, this is 3 raised to 3 plus. Yung next term is 2 raised to 1 plus 2. This is 3. So, we have 2 raised to 3 over 7. Dito na lang natin siya ilagay. 3 raised to 3. That is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. Which is equal to 27 plus 2 raised to 3 is 2 times 2 times 2. That is equal to 8 divided by 7. Then tuloy natin dito. 27 plus 8, that is equal to 35 divided by 7. 35 is already divisible by 7. Pero kapag ka-divide natin siya, that is just equal to 5. Kaya at n is equal to 1, meron tayong nakuhang quotient that is an integer. Wala tayong remainder. So we can say that, Yung expression natin is divisible by 7 at n is equal to 1. That's it for our first step. Let us proceed dun sa pangalawang step ng mathematical induction. That is our inductive step. So let me write down our step 2. This is our inductive step. Dito naman, meron tayong gagawin na assumption. Para sa unang part ng step na to, we will be assuming, so let us assume, that our n is equal to a variable k. Ang gagawin lang natin, given our divisibility, lahat ng n, papalitan lang natin ng k. So we have here 3 raised to 2n plus 1, this will become 3 raised to 2k plus 1, tapos dito naman, 2 raised to n plus 2, this will become k plus 2. So we have our assumption, palitan na natin yung variables natin dito for our inductive step, kaya ito ay magiging 3, Raise 2, 2n will become 2k plus 1, plus, this is 2, tapos yung n plus 2 will become k plus 2, tapos kapag dinivide natin siya by 7, dapat meron tayong makukuha na integer, so we may use any variable for this one, gagamitin natin si letter h. Ito yung assumption natin, pero para mas masimplify siya, let us multiply both sides of our equation by 7. So we have our assumption, ang matitira na lang dito ay 3 raised to, 2k plus 1 plus 2 raised to k plus 2 is equal to h times 7, that is equal to 7h. Then we let this be our equation 1 para maalala natin siya and then gagamitin natin siya on our process later on. Now that we have assumed na yung n is equal to k, ang susunod natin gagawin is we will be showing that kung totoo siya kay n is equal to k, dapat totoo rin siya at n is equal to k plus 1. Ibig sabihin, we will be considering the terms after k, and then kapag ka napatunayan na to, then we can also prove na totoo rin yung terms after k plus 1. Kaya ngayon, ang gagawin natin, lahat ng n, papalitan naman natin ng k plus 1. So let us remember from our given, ang pinuprove natin ay 3 raised to 2n plus 1 plus 2 raised to n plus 2. Kaya ang gagawin natin yung n, papalitan lang natin siya ng k plus 1, isulat natin siya dito, we have our 3 raised to 2, n will become k plus 1, tapos this is plus 1, plus, yung susunod natin is 2, 
Yung n naman dito will become k plus 1 also. So, this will become k plus 1, then plus 2. Tapos, ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin siya by 7. So, we divide this. This is all over 7. Then, para masabi natin na totoo nga na siya ay divisible by 7, dapat yung quotient nito is an integer. Gamit tayo ng variable, we use our letter m. Then, same step as our assumption para mas masimplify siya. Let us multiply both sides of our equation by 7. So, tuloy natin dito sa baba. This will become 3 raised to 2 times k plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 tapos k plus 1 plus 2. This should be equal to 7m. Kaya ang approach natin dito, kapag yung terms sa nasa left side ay nagawan natin ng paraan na yung form niya ay maging 7 times m where yung m na to is any expression na masasabi natin as integers, then mapapatunayan na natin yung divisibility. Kaya galawin natin tong left side, let us multiply, dito tayo sa exponent. So we have 2 times k, and then 2 times 1. So this will become 3 times 2 times k is 2k, and then 2 times 1 is 2, tapos dahil mag a pa tayo ng 1, so this becomes 3. Then mag a tayo, this is 2 raised to k, Sulat natin siya dito, then we have our 1 plus 2, that is also equal to 3. So we have k plus 3 here, this is equal to 7m. Medyo komplikado pa tong part na to, pero ang gagawin natin para masimplify siya, gagawa tayo ng paraan para makapagpalabas tayo ng 3 raised to 2k plus 1 plus 2 raised to k plus 2. Kasi kapag ka nakarating tayo dito, pwede natin siyang isubstitute as 7h. Kaya gagalawin natin yung left side para makarating tayo dun sa equation 1. With that, kailangan natin ng 2k plus 1, kaso nga lang ito ay 2k plus 3. Kaya ang gagawin natin, nakatiyan natin yung 3, gagawin natin siyang 1 plus 2. Then in the same way, dahil k plus 2 yung nandito, yung k plus 3 natin, nakatiyan natin siya as 2 plus 1. Kaya ito ay magiging 3 raised to 2k, tapos yung 3 will become 1 plus 2, and then this is plus Yung sa kabila, we have our 2 raised to, yung k plus 3 will become k plus 2 plus 1, this is still equal to 7m. Then, ano yung advantage kapag ka ginawa natin siya into this form? As we have recall, our loss of exponent kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng exponents with the same base, ang ginagawa natin ay ina-add lang natin yung exponents. Since ang operation is addition, Baliktad yung gagawin natin. From our addition, ibabalik natin siya to multiplication para mapaghiwalay natin sila. Applying our loss of exponent, this will become 3 raised to 2k plus 1 and then times nakahiwalay naman si 3 raised to our exponent that is equal to 2. Then ganun din yung gagawin natin sa kabila. We have our 2 raised to ang kailangan natin ay k plus 2. Iihiwalay natin yung 1. So this is 2 raised to k plus 2, and then, imumultiply natin siya sa 2, raised to our sum here, that is raised to 1. Then still, this is equal to 7m, kaso ang kailangan lang natin ay yung sum nitong dalawang to. Meron na pa tayong 3 raised to 2 at 2 raised to 1. Kaya let us perform our operation, we have 3 squared, 3 times 3, that is just equal to 9, tapos imultiply natin siya kay 3 raised to 2k plus 1, and then yung nasa kabila, we add 2 raised to 1, this is just equal to 2. Kaya we have 2 times 2 raised to k plus 2, this is equal to 7m. Ang problema naman natin ngayon, paano natin maiiwalay etong dalawa dito sa 9 tsaka sa 2. So eto yung medyo kakaibang part na gagawin natin. So sundan nyo lang muna ako sa proseso. Ang gagawin natin is yung 9, hahatiin ko siya as 7 plus 2. Kaya kapag hiniwalay natin siya, our 9 will become 7 plus 2 times, wala pa tayong binago dito, we have 3 raised to 2k plus 1, yung sa kabila, pareho pa rin, plus 2 times 2 raised to k plus 2, still equal to 7m. Tapos, ang gagawin ko, i-distribute ko yung 7 kay 3 raised to 2k plus 1, tsaka si 2. So, doing our multiplication here, this will become 7 times 3 raised to 2k plus 1, tapos ang susunod na imumultiply ko ay si 2, so this is equal to plus 2 times 3 raised to 2k plus 1, 
And then yung nasa kabila, wala pa tayong ginagalaw. So this is still 2 times 2 raised to k plus 2 is equal to 7m. Kaya ako ginawa lahat to, kasi pareho na yung 2 na kasama nitong dalawa na to. With this, pwede nating i-factor out si 2. Kaya this is still 7 times 3 raised to 2k plus 1. And then factoring out 2, ang natira na lang sa loob ay si 3 raised to 2k plus 1. And then this is plus 2 raised to k plus 2 is equal to 7m. Ito na yung gusto natin. Kasi from our equation 1, etong part na to, balikan lang natin yung steps natin kanina. This is just equal to 7h. Ito siya. So we have our 3 raised to 2k plus 1 plus 2 raised to k plus 2 is equal to 7h. Ngayon, ito na yung ipapalit natin sa baba. So doing our substitution dito, so yung part na to, yung nasa baba, this is already equal to 7h per our equation 1. So we have our 7 times 3 raised to 2k plus 1 and then this is plus 2 times etong buong to is equal to 7h is equal to 7m. Ngayon, pwede na nating ilipat yung left side natin into the form 7m kasi we can factor out 7 dito sa left side. Then factoring out 7, ang matitira sa loob ay 3 raised to 2k plus 1 plus mawawala si 7 dito, ang matitira na lang ay si 2h is equal to 7m. Then we can let this part be equal to m. Ngayon, meron tayong 7 na nakamultiply sa certain expression na kahit ano yung value ng k tsaka yung h na ipalit natin dito as long as they are positive integers, then yung magiging sagot sa gitnang part na to is also an integer. Kaya with this, we have our 7 na nakamultiply sa expression na to na kapag nag-divide tayo kay 7, makakasigurado tayo na ang sagot will be another integer. At dahil nakarating na tayo dito, with all of those explanations, pwede na tayong mag-conclude na yung left side ng equation natin that is just equal to 3 raised to 2n plus 1 plus 2 raised to k plus 2 is already divisible. Pwede natin siyang i-divide by 7. With this, we were able to complete our mathematical induction. I hope nasundan niyo yung proseso. I hope you have learned something. Thank you for watching at see you sa mga susunod pa nating lecture videos. Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!